So, ladies and gentlemen, what, let's say I ask you to find the coterminal angles. Find two coterminal angles. Now, what I want you guys to understand about coterminal angles is here's the big discrepancy. Here's what everybody kind of gets um, under. Here's what everybody I think kind of does not understand. There is infinite many coterminal angles, infinite. So if I had just said find two coterminal angles, there would be infinite many numbers or infinite many angles, measures of angles. Because all a coterminal angle asks us to do is determine, see, see how this angle, we started here, right? We started here, and then we ended here. So that's what we call our initial side, and this is what we call our terminal. It's where the, it's where the graph ends, right? Because an angle is a rotation of rays. So you have a starting point, and then you have your ending ray where the end of the rotation ends. So we have an initial and a terminal because this graph went all the way around. Well, guys, can I keep on going around? And would my graph still start here and end there? Could I do it one more time and be the exact same, have the exact same initial and terminal sides? Yes? OK. So. But if I keep on adding 360, I'm just getting bigger and bigger and bigger numbers, right? Yes? I'm just getting bigger and bigger angles. So my, what the question asks on your test is find two coterminal angles, the smallest positive and smallest negative. So if, if I'm at 900, what I'm going to want to do is start subtracting 360, right? Because 900 is a pretty big number. We want to get it down to the smallest positive. So let's subtract 360. Now, right? So that's at 360. So we're at 5. Um, that's at 360. Um, 540, but that's at, what am I getting wrong? So I subtracted 360 once. 540. Yeah, 540. But then, again, let's subtract 360 one more time. All right, and then what is that angle? 180. So ladies and gentlemen, what I'll do is when you have coterminal angles, you're either going to, what you're going to do is you want to add or subtract. But I don't want to add to 900. I want to find smaller angles. And since my angle is larger than 360, I'm going to want to keep on subtracting. So I just keep on subtracting. 360, right, is 540. Then I subtract 360 again, which equals 180. So is 180 the smallest positive coterminal angle I can have? Because if I subtract 360 again, will I still have a positive angle? No. no. But now, what about if I subtract 360? So therefore, I now have my smallest negative and smallest positive coterminal angles. If I keep on subtracting 360, I'm just getting larger numbers in the negative direction, right? So I don't want to keep on subtracting. I found the two coterminal angles. Does that make sense?